One thing you might notice in your tip calculator is that the keyboard is automatically displayed with controls like UI text field, but it's not automatically dismissed when you tap on a different control. In fact, the cursor will stay active on the text field. In iOS, touch events are delivered through a responder chain which decides which control should handle a touch event when it occurs. The control that handles the touch event is what iOS calls the first responder. Once a UI text field becomes the first responder for events, it won't automatically release that status until either something else becomes first responder or it specifically releases the first responder state. Buttons and labels are not eligible to be the first responder. That's why tapping on them does not hide the keyboard. You must call the resign first responder method on the active text field to dismiss the keyboard. We've created three controls and added them to our view. In this case, the views are fairly small and not really significant from a memory perspective. However, some views are not that small. For example, images can hold large blocks of unmanaged memory which the garbage collection process is unaware of. Xamarin iOS incorporates the standard .NET dispose pattern into the view controllers. Your goal is to call dispose when you're done using a UI image. When our UI view controller is disposed, we need to make sure we clean up any resources we may have allocated during its life. In this case, we need to make sure to clean up after our background image. In this dispose overload, disposing is true when the method is called from a dispose method and false when called from a finalizer. We want to make sure that we clean up any managed resources like our UI image view when we are disposing. First, we call the original dispose method on base to give it a chance to clean up anything it created. We then check that we are cleaning up after managed resources in a dispose call when disposing is true. If we are, we dispose of our background image UI image view. In this example, we also set it to null to help ensure the interface we referred to is cleaned up when it is due for garbage collection. There is also a did receive memory warning override you can hook into. This lets you know when iOS is getting low on memory and is considering terminating apps to try to fix it. If you hold on to cached objects, make sure you override this method and throw away things you don't need right then and can recreate. Now that we have our UI, let's add some behavior. iOS sends messages from UI view to notify any interested party about user interaction. Xamarin iOS hooks into the system and exposes these messages as traditional .NET events. Here are a few examples. Touch up inside on the button to indicate the user is tapped within the button boundaries. UI text field can handle several events. On the screen, you can see the three most common events used. These are all standard event handler pattern of object sender and event args. Some controls even have customized event args to report additional data. Since these are normal .NET events, you can use any event handling technique you prefer. Here on the slide we are using anonymous methods, but you could use standard event methods or even lambdas. Many of the controls in Xamarin iOS expose .NET events to provide interactivity notification. These are mapped on top of the event actions of the native control. Since these are regular .NET events, you can use any .NET technique to handle them. For example, a delegate method, anonymous method, or lambda expression. The event handler will be placed into the view controller. You will typically want to add an event handler in the view did load method. You could put the tip calculator logic itself into a separate model object, which you then use from the view controller, or just put it in the view controller if it's simple enough and you don't plan to share it with anything else. UI button exposes the standard control touch up inside event to represent a tap or a click. Wire this up to an event in the view did load override to add behavior logic. 